Hey guys, Lynn here and welcome back to another Remnant 2 guide video. We are currently collecting all the weapons in game and in this one we have our final video on Ia Asha. We are going to pick up the Royal Broadsword, Stonebreaker, Twisted Arbalist and Sagittarius. So let's jump into it. First the Royal Broadsword. This is super easy to get as it's in the very first area of Ia Asha, the Red Throne. In the throne room, talk with the people and if you keep disagreeing with them, you will antagonize them enough to start attacking you. However, if you let yourself be killed, this will trigger an event where you're thrown in jail. Inside the jail, one floor up, you will find the Royal Broadsword. Next guys, this one was the most difficult weapon for me to get so far, the Sagittarius. The reason being I rerolled the area 14 times before the Cathedral of Omens finally spawned. Basically you need to keep doing the Red Keep, then the Withering Wield, which only ever has two doors inside. The one is the exclamation door where the main story is. The other door will be an optional random dungeon and this is where the Cathedral of Omens can spawn. And I just got really unlucky and had to do reruns of Yaesha for at least four hours before I finally got this weapon. But hopefully it doesn't happen to you. In the cathedral then, we have to pull a bunch of levers to unlock rewards. And there are three different rewards. But you have to make sure that you do them in order. As you enter, do the following on the levers. For the middle lever, pull it three times. Then the left lever five. And then the right one will unlock your first reward. Next, return to the middle lever and pull it four times, then the left one and the right three. Finally, pull the middle lever three times, the left hand side two, and the right four to unlock the best bow in game, Sagittarius. If you mess up your order, you will need to exit and re enter the area to reset the puzzle. Lastly guys, we have Stonebreaker and Twisted Arbalist, which are related to the final boss, who is Corruptor. All you need to do is defeat him and his protector to get the Twisted Arbalist, which is probably the one that most of you have. Or if you defeat him and completely ignore his protector, which can be tough as he is attacking you, then you will get the material needed to craft the Stonebreaker at McCabe's. So guys, that's it for this one. We only have seven more secret weapons to go before we have them all. So make sure to like and subscribe to stay up to date. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.